Hello, welcome to another video in the NetAdmin video series. Uh, today we're going to talk about configuring a guest wireless LAN on the Ruckus Smart Zone controller. So right now we're on our dashboard for the Smart Zone controller and we'll need to go to the configuration tab. So the first thing we have to do is we actually have to create our guest access portal. So this is the place when the guests actually log in the portal that they go that they get taken to to put in their credentials. So on the configuration tab under wireless networks, we're going to click guest access, and then we're going to create a new access portal. I'm just going to call it guest portal. I can put a description here if I want to. The language I'm going to have is English. Um, I'm going to redirect them to the Ruckus Wireless website. Um, you can leave it to where it redirects them to the place they were trying to go. I'm going to turn on the terms and conditions and these are editable so you can change and make the terms and conditions for whatever your company or entity has. Um, you can upload a logo to put on here and you can change the web portal title if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as default for our testing purposes here. And I'll say OK and now I have a guest portal. So once we've created our guest portal now we can actually create our guest wireless LAN. So under still in the configuration tab under wireless networks we're going to go to WLANs and we're going to create a new WLAN. So under this WLAN, we're going to name it. And we'll have to create our SSID. You can put a description if you want to. You have the option to tunnel your wireless LAN traffic back to the Ruckus back to the Ruckus controller. By default, Ruckus access points drop their traffic off at the local switch. Um, if you have a virtual smart zone controller like we do here, you'll actually have to create a virtual data plane to do this, which is just another virtual machine, and it require it does require a license, so just be mindful of that. Um, so our authentication type for here, we're going to do guest access. It's going to be open. We're not going to do any encryption. Right here we're going to use the guest portal that we created in the previous step for guest authentication. We're not going to do any hotspot 2.0 for this video. We are going to enable wireless client isolation where wireless clients on this VLAN or this subnet cannot talk to each other. We don't have any radius attributes. Under the advanced options we are going to go in here we're going to change our VLAN ID to 30 which is our VLAN. I'm not going to hide the SSID. I am going to change my BSS minimum transmit rate which is the minimum throughput rate that will allow for a client to connect and then once I've got all this done I'm going to click OK. Now I have a guest wireless LAN. So now we've created our guest access portal and we have a wireless LAN that that guest access portal is connected to. Now we actually need to create a guest account. So with Ruckus Smart Zone Controllers under your identity, still under the configuration tab, we can go in here and create guests. So myself as an administrator or a guest pass administrator which is under the administration tab and this is actually an administrator role you have a guest pass generator role and then I've actually created a guest pass generator called front desk and we'll and we'll look at that in a minute so so I can and this front desk can create guest passes so going back to our configuration we're going to go to guests that's under the identity and we're going to create a guest pass. So once I go to guest pass, I'm going to generate a guest pass. And I'm just going to call this guest 
0.01 and it's going to be on the guest WLAN. I'm only going to create one pass and it's going to be valid for one day. There are some advanced options here so you can auto generate the password or I can create my own password. Um, it's effective from the creation time or effective from the first use. Um, I'm, a, I'm limiting it to one device or you can make it unlimited. You can put some remarks. So there, you have some different options. So now I'm going to generate my guest pass and now I have a guest login. So back to the guest pass administrator. From the same portal that we're in there, I can log in as my front desk account that we looked at earlier. <clears throat> and we'll actually see what they see. So they see the same portal to the same virtual smart zone controller, but all they have access to is guest passes. So they can generate a guest pass. So you can give this to like a secretary or a front desk person or someone at the help desk to create guest passes for your guests that come onto your network. Then they can be printed, they can be exported to a CSV, you can email them or you can do an SMS text to someone with these guest passes. So now that we have a guest pass, now we, now we actually want to verify and validate that we can actually get on the wireless network. All right, so now that we have created our guest wireless LAN here from a client computer, we're going to connect to our guest network that we just created. And now I have to apply my guest pass that we created earlier. So here it is. Want to place that guest pass inside here and then we'll log in. Here's my terms of use that we saw earlier that we that were created when we created that guest access portal. I'm going to accept. It's telling me that my guest access is valid for one day from today. And we'll click continue. And I'm automatically redirected to the ruckuswireless.com website. So there you go, we've created a guest access portal or guest wireless LAN access and we've locked down our guest access to people that we create guest passes for. Um, I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much.